Do you want to measure or monitor different aspects of your system's performance? Well, you can with MSI's Afterburner. Maybe your GPU temperature or power draw, memory, CPU, RAM usage, frames, and average FPS. In this short tutorial, I'll show you how. Nice to have you back at the Sim Hangar. My name's Mark. Thanks for watching, and let's get started. MSI Afterburner has been the de facto standard for many for quite a long time. It's well established and reliable, but download it from the official site. Many sites are offering this download, some of a more dubious nature than others. Link in the notes below. MSI Afterburner is primarily an overclocking application for your graphics card, but we won't be using it for that. We'll only be looking at the performance monitoring side. The download is about 53 megabytes. Download it, save it anywhere on your system, unzip the file, and run the executable, and follow the install instructions. It's basic and straightforward. During the install process, a message will pop up to confirm MSI Afterburner install, as well as the Reva Tuner Stat Server. Make sure you tick that box, you're going to need it, and its use will be covered in this tutorial as well. Once install is completed, you'll see an icon that looks like this, and double-click that to start the application. When the application first loads up, it's going to look something like this. Most of the information available relates to overclocking your graphics card, and I recommend you leave this well alone, especially if you don't know what you're doing. And again, to highlight, this video is about performance monitoring, not about overclocking your graphics card. Throughout the application, if you hover over anything, Handy hints and explanations do pop up. This applies throughout the application and is very user-friendly. On the tab shown on the far left, right at the bottom, there's an icon that looks like a screen. If you click this, it will bring up graph activity for various aspects of your machine, covering CPU, memory, GPU, and so on. Whilst this information may be useful at certain times, Perhaps to look back at activity and monitor fluctuations in performance is not really what we're looking for. Back to the tabs on the left hand side, and the one we want is the COG, second from the bottom. Click that and a new menu opens. And this is where we can set and select various performance monitoring parameters. There are numerous tabs along the top. You can't resize the window, but you can use the arrows to navigate left and right from one menu to the next. And as was the case earlier, help and explanations are available if you hover over any item. Back to the top menu, and using the arrows, I'm going to move all the way to the right and select user interface. Here I'm going to turn off the tool tips. They get in the way for a tutorial, so I simply uncheck the boxes. Also here, you can change the user interface, and quite a number are supplied as default. So you have a fairly wide selection with different layouts to suit individual preferences. I've changed the user interface, or skin as they call it, all the same information, just simply shown in a different format. Make your selection, click on apply, and you're done. I'm back to the default interface, and let's move on. Now I'm going to move the top menus or tabs over to the left, and the tab I'm looking for is monitoring. Select that. And listed here are all the different elements that can be monitored. A tick next to the item indicates that it is being currently monitored. Unticked means it's not being monitored. And as you can see, this selection is fairly expensive. To unselect an item, simply click on the tick. Multiple items can be selected. Select the first item, then holding down shift the last item and so on. For simplicity purposes, I've now unchecked all items. We've got a clean slate. And we can now start selecting what's to be monitored and reported on on screen. The first item is GPU temperature. I'm going to select that. That's a very useful one to have. But to get it to show on screen, for each item, you must individually click on the show on screen display. If you don't do this, it won't show on screen, even though it's being monitored. I've now selected apply. And if you look in the top left hand corner, you'll see GPU temperature being reported. Note it only shows on screen when the application is running. Microsoft Flight Simulator in my case is running. It's what you're looking at in the background. But let's be honest, not only can you not read it, I can't hardly read it either. It's far too small. And this is where the Reva Tuner comes into play. Reva Tuner would have started with your MSI Afterburner and will be shown in your taskbar under hidden icons once you start making changes. 
Double click that to open it up and this is what you'll see. The Reaver Tuner has a number of functions but primarily it's a text display editor. We can now go ahead and edit some of the parameters to make the on-screen information more readable. Here I've selected on-screen display zoom, moving the slider to the right and as I do so you'll see the information in the top left hand corner change size. I'm also able to manipulate the position of the text by selecting the figure 60 in the window and dragging it. And once again the text changes on screen. You're also able to change the color of the text displayed by double clicking on the orange dot on the on-screen display palette. And from here you can select a multitude of different colors. Under the on-screen display rendering mode you'll see raster 3D is highlighted. Once again if you double click you can go ahead and change the font for the text to be displayed on screen. There are many other variables that can be changed, but I'll leave that for you to explore. You'll probably only use the Reaver Tuner very occasionally. Minimize Reaver Tuner and let's get back to the monitoring. Let's go and select another item. In this case, GPU usage. As always, I have to tick the box Show on screen display, click Apply, and it's now showing 44-46% usage of the GPU currently. I want to keep the number of selected items to a minimum, just the essentials are required. Otherwise the text will fill the whole screen. I've select memory usage and as before, show on screen display, select apply and my GPU memory usage is shown on screen. You could then page down, selecting those items that you felt you required. Selecting the item and selecting on screen display. When it comes to the CPU, you have the choice to select temperature and usage by core and thread. Of course, this would be a mammoth amount of information and fill up the screen. But for both usage and temperature, there is an overall one, which provides the average, which is what I use. You can now go ahead and finish selecting all the items you want reported on. Towards the bottom of the selection list, you'll find frame rate. I'll obviously want that one. Select to show on display, the highlighted item shows in OSD on screen display and the current FPS is shown, in this case 56. The information just in front of that shows that I'm on DX12. The next item in the menu is frame time, which is actually the inverse of the FPS. It is the amount of time in milliseconds that it takes the system to generate the frame and not latency as I've incorrectly reported in some previous videos. My thanks to the subscribers for putting me right here. I've selected frame time and it's now indicating 17, just over 17 milliseconds. The next one we want to select and an important one for many is the average frame rate. And this is the one that catches most people out. Select it, mark it as on screen display, but it won't show up. Average FPS is an exception to the rule and for a good reason which I'll cover shortly. But now that we've selected all our items, we need to move to the next tab at the top, which is on-screen display. Select that, and in most cases, you'll want to toggle the display on and off, depending on what you're doing and what you're testing. Currently, there's nothing assigned. By selecting the box, it will record keystrokes. Just as an example, in this case, I'm going to use Control shift and the F1 key. Pressing it once will display the information. Pressing it again will remove it from the screen. Next, select the Benchmark tab from the top menus. And here you'll see two options, Begin Recording and End Recording. This is for the average FPS, and keystrokes need to be assigned. To get an average FPS, you may want to start at a certain point and end at a certain point to establish an average for a particular scenario. If you don't assign keys and activate this, average FPS will not show up. We can now test our assignments. First of all, toggle display on and off. That seems to be working fine. Now let me hit Control Shift F2 to activate the average FPS recording. There it is. Now to end the recording is done in two steps. First use of the key combination will freeze the average FPS on screen. Use the key combination again and it removes it from the screen. Hope that's clear. 
The application includes a number of features and functions we haven't covered, but we've covered enough of the basics to allow you to monitor your performance and record average FPS and so on. One important note I should have mentioned, MSI Afterburner has to be running and minimized for you to get an on-screen display with whatever application you're using it with. Once you've completed all your changes, hit OK, minimize the Afterburner and start monitoring. Couple of quick pointers before we close. Recording FPS in VR is very difficult and I'm unclear on the suitability of MSI Afterburner in virtual reality. The shortcut keys I used was purely an example for the tutorial purposes. They may conflict with assignments within MSFS. And lastly, in terms of using Afterburner, I couldn't detect any FPS hit. Well everybody, I hope you found that useful and informative, and we'll give you a hand in the future. If it did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, it helps the channel. Thank you very much for being with me today. Thanks for your company, look after yourself, see you again soon, and bye for now.